if we want to make a genuine positive social change, then we need to actually invest in it. Social marketing's greatest achievement is surviving against all odds and a lot of competition to make a genuine difference and to becoming a valid discipline with evidence that can be relied on. One of the things I like about social marketing's evolution is its flexibility and adaptability for various contexts. It was really courageous of the original authors to decide that marketing could be applied to something other than just making money. It certainly got them into some trouble with their universities at the time. We should be proud of social marketing for helping people throughout the world live better lives. Social marketers have become a mainstay of programs facilitating positive social change, helping society balance the benefits of individuals making their choices with the broader goals of society, which sometimes conflicts with what the individual wants. We should be proud that we've managed to make some very positive social changes over the last 50 years. My wish for the social marketing's future is that it stays relevant and rigorous and continues to build the evidence base. I'd also like to add a plea to funding agencies and campaigners. Good social marketing costs money, it's not cheap, and tackling wicked problems with the equivalent of a broken shoestring is unlikely to be successful. We need to get serious when we design campaigns or interventions. We need as much money as any commercial marketer invests in their marketing mix. If we want to make a genuine, positive, social change, then we need to actually invest in it.